Welcome to The Fix. After coming close so many times this season, Kyle Busch took the checkered flag on Sunday at Texas Motor Speedway. You can order your race win diecast at LionelRacing.com or through your local dealer. And up next, we have some great new releases this week for you. Up first, we have the Stuart Haas Racing 10th Anniversary Fantasy Ford Fusion. Also from Stuart Haas, we have Eric Amarola in the number 10 GoBowling.com Ford Fusion. And then we have Kyle Busch in the number 18 M&M's Carmel Toyota Camry. And last but not least, we have Brad Kislowski in the number two Miller Lite Patriotic Ford Fusion that he will race at Charlotte Motor Speedway in May and Chicago and Daytona in July. You can get all these great new releases at LionelRacing.com or through your local dealer. 2018 marks the fourth year of Lionel Racing's partnership with Texas Motor Speedway and their Speeding to Read program, which encourages students across the Dallas-Fort Worth community to read, while also giving them a chance to design their own die-cast car. More than 12,000 students from 21 elementary schools throughout the Dallas-Fort Worth area read more than a million books for this year's Speeding to Read program. NASCAR star Eric Almarola, driver of the number 10 Smithfield Ford Fusion, joined in the festivities on Thursday, April 5th to help crown the winners of the die-cast design competition. First, it was off to last year's winning school, B.B. Owen Elementary in the Colony, Texas, to honor the winner of the kindergarten through second grade division. Maria Wortman designed her die-cast to honor the firefighters of her community, something that meant a lot to Al Marola, as his father was also a fireman. Wortman was presented with a special 124th scale die-cast with her design on it from Lionel Racing's Thomas Du Bois, and was welcomed to the stage by local firefighters. Then it was on to Diamond Hill Elementary School in Fort Worth, where Alondra Villa was honored as the third through fifth grade design a die cast winner. That is so awesome. Her design was created in honor of the things she loves the most, her brother, her school, and her country. And she was presented with a die cast with her design on it, as well as coupons for a year supply of Smithfield bacon and tickets to the Texas Motor Speedway NASCAR events. Alondra and the other students at Diamond Hill Elementary struck a chord with Almarola. The driver told the students of the school, which has a 95% Hispanic population, of his family struggle as they journeyed from their native Cuba to the United States in the 1960s. My abuelos came from Cuba in 1966, and they brought my dad with them. Uh, so it was my dad, my uncle, and abuelo and abuela. They got on a flight from Havana, Cuba, and flew to Miami, Florida to create a better life for the Almarolas. Alondra's winning design will be made and put in a future wave of NASCAR Authentics diecast. Did you, did you think like when you were writing your essay and you designed your car, did you say, oh yeah, this is going to win? No, I actually wasn't um, focusing on winning because actually winning is not the, the whole thing of your life. Like, you just need to try your best on it. Oh gosh, you're, <laughs> you're so right. You're so right. Other reading champions from each school were honored during the presentations as well, as some of each school's top readers were presented with coupons from Almarola's sponsor, Smithfield Foods, and with tickets to NASCAR events from Texas Motor Speedway's Mike Zizzo. When you hear the backstories on these die-cast cars, with the essays they wrote at BB Owen, it was about the bravery of firefighters. Today, it was about her brother. He loves racing, and she loves him, and she wanted to dedicate the car to him. And she's all about loving America, and she wants to see peace in the world. I mean, it's just incredible experiences like that, that you know you're making an impact, whether it's with the die cast or in reading. To be a part of this program with Lionel Racing, it's so honoring and humbling. To come to these schools and watch these kids really be challenged to read by the schools, the districts, by Texas Motor Speedway, it's really encouraging. And I wish actually more schools would do it. Where my daughter goes to school in Concord, North Carolina, they don't really do anything like that. And I just wish they would do something really cool where more schools would embrace that. Not only that, we're also br bringing up and raising kids <laughs> kids liking and loving NASCAR. That, that in, 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 the, in the whole is just really amazing. The Speeding to Read program continues all school year long at schools throughout the Dallas-Fort Worth area. For more information on Speeding to Read, visit speedingtoread.com. We had a bunch of new submissions this week on Collector Spotlight from all over the globe, beginning with Thomas Selby. He registered his 300th diecast on the Lionel Garage website, and the car that made it happen was a 2017 number five Casey Kane Justice League car. Great car, and Thomas, thank you for so much for supporting us in the garage. Next up, we got Brandon Gray, and his, two of his favorite drivers he showed us in his collection are his Brad Keselowski and Joey Logano. Best part is they're prototypes. 
Looks like I also see some samples and number ones. He also says he's looking for the door number of some of these cars as well. So those are highly coveted. Someone maybe can help him out. And all the way from Argentina, we got Fernando. He's been collecting since 2009, and he's got a great Rowdy Bush Museum all the way out in Buenos Aires. He's got Rowdy Bush cars all the way from HMS till current at Gibbs. Great collection there, Fernando. Speaking of Kyle Busch, last week on The Fix, we asked you to correctly guess the winner at Texas. A lot of, we had a lot of guesses of Kyle Busch. Congratulations, Kevin Dallator. You correctly guessed Kyle Busch. We'll be sending you a free die cast soon. And don't forget, if you want your die cast featured on The Fix, be sure to send it to us on Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram using hashtag TheFix.